This may be my favorite stick of all time. After a few months of going through different flexes, curves, and stick types, I think I finally found the perfect stick for me. First things first, we gotta show off the custom Proto R. I've decided to go with a nice purple color. As you guys can see, the graphics may be my favorite part. Obviously, there's been a lot of good sticks over the years in terms of looks. This one right here though, one of my personal favorites. Let's talk about the different specs that I have on this stick. So the final stick that I have ended up with, I decided to drop down to a 70 flex. So this thing is super whippy. You get this on the ice, regardless of the shot you're taking, whether that be a slap shot, wrist or a snapper, you are getting some major flex on this stick. In terms of the curve, I have bounced back and forth between different curves for a very long time. I've decided to finalize this right here, right now. I switched over to the P28. If you guys are not familiar with the P28, it's very similar to the P92, just more of a toe style curve. So as you go for shots, it's really helpful when you wanna drag the puck in and then release, and you're shooting directly off the toe. So pucks really just fly off this thing. I've got grip tape up top with a very small knob up here, nice little handhold, so as you get it in your hand, you can rotate it around freely, never losing grip up top. And then at the bottom, I get a lot of questions about this. This is a ResTech blade. The reason that I use this is mainly for roll or hockey where you want to have as little friction as possible so as you can see the bottom of the blade is not covered but I also like the feeling for ice it's basically just sandpaper on your blade gives you good grip for both passing and shot so that's the current setup on the twig we're gonna get some shots in then I'm gonna go back to some of my old twigs and show you why I made the changes that I did and why I chose this stick for me you guys know this is a good friend of mine Bob he's taken a lot of pucks over the years today he's not gonna take any though because we're hitting the perfect TDRs right around him I'm gonna come in just rip some shots we'll just go through a pile of pucks Dude, I'm telling you, the TDRs on this thing, it's just so buttery smooth. You can hit that quick toe drag around the defender. Obviously, listen, I'm no Connor Bedard. I'm not playing in the NHL. But when it comes to playing roller hockey, playing beer league, even just that little deceptiveness is enough to throw off the goalie. So looking at the past two sticks that I used, I have them here on the bench. Up first, we have the Hyperlite 2. Hyperlite 2, great stick. One of my favorite sticks, obviously. A lot of love for this thing. But when I'm comparing these two sticks, there is one key difference that I think has changed my game quite a bit, and that, of course, is the kick point. The Hyperlite 2, of course, has a low kick point, perfect for releasing those nice and quick shots, so when you're in tight with the goalie, the low kick helps out a ton. But for me, I found the Proto R to feel the most natural with a mid kick point. So when we're talking mid, we're talking the best of both worlds. You get the speed and the power on the release. On my Hyperlite 2, I was rocking a P92 curve. This is the curve that I used literally the first time I picked up a hockey stick. And over on the Proto R, of course, I have that P28. Just a little bit more toe. Again, if you look at these side by side, you probably can't even tell the difference in the camera, but when you're picking up the puck and you feel it on your blade, that's when you can really start to feel this toe curve. And with this video, I am by no means telling you which stick to buy. I'm just walking you through the process, what went through my mind when I was picking out my specs and which stick I decided to use. So with that being said, let's get into some stick handling. I'll talk you guys through why I like this curve and why I like this stick. Yeah, let's get moving a bit. Here we go. So one of the biggest differences is the puck pickups that I feel off the boards. Obviously with any stick, you can do this. All right, let's not act like this is some magic tool. So for me going into the corners, having just this little extra toe, to get up, go up the ice quickly, especially when defenders wrap the puck around the boards. You can come into the boards, grab this puck, and go on your way. Nice and smooth. Along with the pickups off the boards, obviously, you get those nice toe drags, which these days, this is what we're looking for, you know? Those quick toes, you can pull it in, pull it back, any angle, nice and smooth. Let's just go for a nice little skate, get a couple shots on target, and then uh, we'll walk you through the next steps. Ooh, there's a couple stick handles with the Proto R. Something I completely forgot about. I can't believe I forgot about this. I can kind of Zorro with this stick. That is something I never was able to do, never practice. Got this stick in my hand. Watch the Zoros here real quick. So I've been doing the backhand pickup where you just do this to get it started. Then you can go right into your Zorro. Look at this, boys. First try, every try. Pavel Barber, Zach Bell, Swaggy P. If I could fly one of you guys out here, just give me a quick lesson real quick, that might help. I will get a clean one though. I can hit it 25%, get it on net. We're getting better though, for real. 
Oh, baby. Look at that, boys. I could never do that before, dude. I don't know what it is about the Zoro. I'm just so bad at it. I never have a ton of time to just like come out here and just grind the Zoro. So when Heat Wave opens up, next like shootout challenge, next NHL event we go out to, I'm gonna be a Zoro machine. Lock that in. One last point, I forgot about one of my older sticks. So this was my custom agent that I got when this came out. As you can see, I have the basketball style grip. This is the tactile grip on this. If you guys have never used this, I used to love this. I thought the tactile grip was sick. What I think it does, I don't know if it's mental or if it's reality, I think it adds a little bit of weight to the stick. So even comparing these two, the Proto R feels lighter to me. But more importantly, from a performance standpoint, I found my shot and stick handling to be just a little bit smoother without having the tactile grip. So that's why I decided with my Proto R, this is just the plain normal grip, as you can see. Obviously, you still have a little bit of that grip technology. So, you know, as you move your hand, you can slide it just enough. But when you go in to get that shot, you have all the grip that you need. I know a lot of people live and die by this grip, the basketball grip. But uh, I think for me, the plain old grip fits my knee a little bit better. Next thing I want to get into is some one-timers. So you guys know my slap shot, obviously trash. Along with that, my one tees were never great either. But I feel like with this curve, with this stick combo, my one tees have gotten a little bit better, at least better for the shots that I take. So when you're thinking about your game and how you shoot the puck and the situations you shoot the puck, for me, most of my one-timers are coming in tight. It's like passes across the crease where you just have to get them up high, nice and quick. That's why I feel like this stick has kind of treated me well. So we'll get a couple in tight one tees here. Obviously, we're pretty close to the net, but I think this will give you an idea of kind of the half clappers. Like these aren't the huge windups, just the quick snaps with the flex. Let's get it. Do I have the most accurate shot? No. Do I have the fastest shot? Maybe I do. Holy, that was a rocket. But again, if I'm just focused on the situations that I find myself in, it's this shot right here, which is what we're working on. And again, I can kind of go far side, close side, either direction but we can get that shot up nice and quick. Obviously, it's one thing to shoot on an empty net. Let's see if we can actually hit a target. We'll go top right, near post. Dude, I'm telling you, it's, it's nice like being able to shift your body and being able to trust the stick. Cause just that crazy 70 flex whip, like it doesn't matter if I'm set up or if I have to adjust kind of lean into it. The stick kind of does most of the work. Now, obviously I've been talking about everything that I like about this stick, but with any stick, if you're compared to, there's gonna be trade-offs. For me, using this stick with this curve, I struggle shooting the puck too high. Like if I'm walking in on net here, trying to go for that lower target, usually it'll raise up a bit on me. Or if I'm going for top shelf, I send a lot more shots over the net than what I used to do before. Now it's a good and bad thing. If you're on the rush real quick, wanna hit a top target, you can do that, but you do have to be careful with your shot because if you're not used to it, this thing, sends puck sailing. So of course, as is tradition, we have a few targets into the net. I'm just gonna shoot a few, see if we can knock them all down. Again, I think those, those mid targets, if they're on the ground, it's whatever, but kind of mid-level, that's where I struggle the most with this stick. So I'm still getting used to it to myself. Let's see what we can do here. There we go, there's top left, right on down. Let's go top right. They just, they don't make these targets like they used to, you know? Set them back up, go again. Here you go, top right. Dude, the pop on that thing. So these are the kind of shots that I struggle with right now. And there we go, we got both with one puck. So as you can see, pros and cons. Those top corners, I've got no problem hitting when it's at the more mid-level. That's what we're getting dialed in. But as with any stick, you gotta get used to it. So that's what I'm still doing here. Well, listen, I know Torch isn't gonna be happy, but we do have to do the old Michigan test. So a quick little skate behind the net. You guys know the drill. There's one, can we go two for two? Yes, we. Okay, the far, I mean the far side, who's doing a Michigan far side? But yeah, you can hit the Michigan with this thing. I find the extra toe blade actually does kind of cup the puck just a little bit better. So as you're bringing it around the net, you can do it a little bit faster without losing that puck. And again, obviously any player can do it with any blade. It doesn't really matter, but just a little extra help on those Michis, a P28 gets the job done. So there you have it, kind of a different style of video today. I know we went into a lot of detail about very specific things, but when it comes to picking a hockey stick, those are kind of the things that you need to focus on yourself as a player. But when it comes to hockey sticks, I cannot stress this enough, the best stick is the one that you have. Don't go out and feel like you have to buy a brand new $400 hockey stick. Obviously, go and practice with the stick that you have. Figure out the things that you like and dislike about it. Try out your friend's stick. Go into the hockey store. Go to the shooting lane and get some shots in and figure out what works best for you. Because I know for me, I was stuck using 77 Flex P92 my entire life. Again, high school to now. 
I was using a P92 with a 77 Flex. I switched just a couple minor things about my stick and I found one that I think is now the best for me. So don't be afraid to go out and experiment, try some new things. I hope you guys found this video helpful in some way as I just talked through my hockey stick and why I made the choices that I did. And if you guys have any questions for me at all, feel free to toss them down in the comments down below. We'll have a lot more videos just like this one coming soon from Heatwave Arena. Last thing we gotta do is, you know, clean up the pucks at practice. Let's do it. See you guys next time. And I'm out.